Gang, before we hit the fun button in the episode, let's talk about the good old middle class famous tour. Ooh-wee. Talking stand up show, play a little AYG with the crowd. It's a good time. Grab the homies, grab the bozos, grab your gal, grab your guy. Come out and see us. We're coming everywhere. Yeah, guys, we're going to be in Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago. Chicago. Late show out at first show sold Woo! out. Then we're going to be in Rosemont. Rosemont. Oh, baby. Then we're, then we're going to Pittsburgh, Buffalo, and Detroit in yeah. June. Get those tickets. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they're going to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. <laughs> I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here at Antony's basement. She's upstairs selling Girl Scout cookies. Okay. Said she caught a troop slipping. All right. So they're secondhand, real cheap, good oh. deals. Get them while they're in stock, gang. My co-host <laughs> is coming at you from right next to me, unamused this week at my Aunt Tutty bit. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. He's my fucking boss. So do me a favor. Leave me a nice Yelp review. Talk me up a little bit. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking. Cooking. <laughs> And then, um, God damn it. Do you have your notes in front Patreon. of Patreon.com backslash are there you garbage. Is the greatest fucking website ever invented. Shout Patreon. out to Sam Yam and Jack Conti. We love you guys. Sign up. Uh, you get bonus episodes of AYG, episodes of Hard Feelings, which is a completely different podcast. Live streams. There's a whole bunch of bonus videos on there. We did the cribs at each one of our parents' houses. The whole fucking nine yards. Check it out. Plus a lot of drama on that Hard Feelings. You got to check it out. They're nail biters yes. over there. Also... Fat Court Season 2 is upon us. Yes, it is. Get yes, involved. it is. And I will not a, fail this and time. there's a lot of money on the line. <laughs> about five jihads. And I ain't got it. Speaking of not having it, <laughs> how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man, one of my best pals. He's my driving in buddy. We drive to work together. Yeah, and you were late today. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we were smooching in traffic. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dudes? What up, T-Bone? We were late. I got a ride with the boss, and I still felt like I was in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well, you didn't ride with him with me, so you were in trouble. We were in my mom's car. Proper in my mom's car. I got the Explorer up here. Why the latitude's getting worked on, but that's either here. Exploring how to be a loser. (laughs) Gang, we could not be more excited, and I couldn't be more serious. We could not be more excited to have our very special guest here with us for the first time. She is a very funny stand up comedian podcaster. She's a worker. She performs all over the country. You've seen her on a late show with Stephen Colbert, and Mm -hmm. she has her own amazing podcast called Good Kind Gal. She's literally. Everybody's favorite comic. Everybody talks She's about her. Hang. Everybody fucking loves Killer. her. She's a great hang. We started out in the village together. We climbed out of that dump together, <laughs> doing open mics down there. But the big question in everybody's mind today, is she garbage? I got to say, about a, two or three months ago, I saw her take down an order of wings like a chupacabra. <laughs> but we're going to go through the motions and check it out. Bones and Give all. Give it up for the one the only. <laughs> Caitlin Palufo, everybody. Hey, oh, Palouf. Hell, hello. hello. I'm feeling good. This is good. This is a hot one, baby. You guys are great. Good I to love see you, so buddy. Back and forth. I might actually listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I might check these losers yeah. out. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, you had bitch on the intro? What was yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll put that in a post, Paloof. Yeah, she loves wings and she's a hot bitch. <laughs> That's my kind of girl. <laughs> hey, who doesn't want that? <laughs> Buddy, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. This is thrilling. This we, is great. I remember the lan- we met at the Village Lantern. Mm-hmm. We were you, you, you would just start a comedy, right? Yeah, I was a baby bird. Fucking took off like a rocket, man. Everybody loves you. You're absolutely fantastic. Everybody loves you guys. Oh, huh? stop it. You sweet boy. Only the people that don't know me. Yeah, way. it's very funny. <laughs> Everybody loves us, but the three of us hate each other. <laughs> so it's a great dynamic. <laughs> Rightly so. Give us the backstory. We'll fill us in. Okay. What's the Where are you po- from? You're a Cali girl. I'm a Cali girl. I yeah. am. I'm from San Francisco we were suburbs. Just really? Yes. Week? I thought you were from Queens for I know, some reason. I know. I got a very, uh, I got a very, uh, I've been here for 13 years. Okay. You know? Really? Yeah. I've been here for wow. a long time. Love it. Really? Um, before you did comedy? Before I did comedy. Yeah. This is going to be a juicy one. Oh, juice baby. The amount of times I've blacked out in this city is <laughs> it's overwhelming. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. hit us. You grew up in San 
proper San Francisco in the no, city? Oh, suburbs. San Bruno, Ooh. California. Yeah, we you know we have we have the airport. Okay. okay. We got Is that the airport? where we flew into San Bruno? Probably. Yeah, you flew. If you flew into SFO, you were in my backyard, baby. Oh, you lived by the yeah. airport, huh? Oh, Thought yeah. I could smell nice. something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right by next... the airport ain't great. Uh, no, 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 no. We got an Artichoke Joe's, which is a what casino. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a casino. An Thank Artichoke you. sounds like a pizza place. That's no, terrible. Nope, not at all. That's it... the name of the casino, Artichoke Joe's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like a Wait, one. We don't rip you off. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll get you. Yeah. <laughs> Artichoke Joe's. We're going to rob you and you know it. <laughs> yeah, during COVID, they even had like the plexiglass and they did a tent outside so people could still come and gamble. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, man, gamble. Yeah. You guys ever go to eat there as a family? No, 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 no. Um, my mom wouldn't allow it. You know, my oh. dad. My dad, it's, he doesn't care. He's just he, he's along dad for the ride. Stop, dad, dad stopped caring at a certain time. Yeah. They're like, yeah, I'll yeah. eat out of the trash. <laughs> they just <laughs> they genuinely stop giving yeah, a fuck. Yeah, that's Gary right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Gary? <laughs> he could be the first contestant. We want to do, we want to do a spinoff show instead of Are You Garbage? It's called Are You Gary? And we bring yeah. three guys in, <laughs> and, and you have to figure out what the, which one's name's Gary by a bunch of questions. Yeah, I think that's Gary's are very specific, mm -hmm. as you would know. Yeah, very specific. They have a dog training camp in their backyard. That Wait, your dad's a dog trainer? Scratch. No, but he wants to be. Oh man, that's he really even likes weirder. his dogs, and so he built a training ground. Yeah, I'm opening ramps. up my own hospital. Yeah. <laughs> really? He's got like the up and down ramps. Does he have really? the tube? Yeah, he's got the tube, and then his dog died, and so he replaced it with a putting green. <laughs> so. Oh my. Oh, Did he die on the course? No, no. That's he, a write-off. No, he, he died under the porch. Uh, oh, man. Did he With use dignity. The, did he use the ramps and stuff to make a mini golf course? Because I mean, that's a good time. No, I think he he put um, a uh, wishing well on top of one of the ramps. Uh, but Hang then there's on. a putting green. Back man. this up. Oh, this, guy says, this guy spends a lot of time at Home Depot. <laughs> You're in oh, the yeah. suburbs in San Francisco. Uh -huh. Single family home. Sounds like you live in a fun house. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm guessing. Sounds like circus folk to me. Oh, yeah. We're very close. Uh, but yes, yeah, single family home. Uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Two sisters. Older, one younger. Oh, you're the middle child. Middle baby. How, okay. what's, the, what's the separation there? Older sister's five years older. Younger sister's eight years younger. Uh -oh. oh, baby. Someone was a mistake. I'm Late not saying which one. Accident, huh? <laughs> Wowza. A little too much fun out there at the dog track. Right? <laughs> Whatever you got going on in that backyard. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> and what does your mom and dad do professionally? My, professionally speaking, um, my dad is a uh, cabinet refinisher. Okay. okay. And my mom. Oh, he's a handy. He's, he's handy. a handy. He's very a handy. Yes. Gotcha. And he's been doing that since he was 18. He's got very bad knees. Uh, always do. They get real bow legged. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of uncles. High end stuff we're lot. talking? They high end. Very high end. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so he's, yeah. A, he's a craftsman. He's an yes, artisan. I would say so. Yeah. And he's the lead finisher. So I used to have to work at his cabinet making shop. So is shop. my wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's a whore. No, <laughs> I was say, Toby, you might have to cut that. That says something about you. I uh -huh, feel like. Yeah. Uh -huh. Someone's good at uh, the old uh, smoochy smoochy downtown. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got it in him. You seem like an eater. Yeah. <laughs> smoochy, smoochy downtown. That's by Artichoke Joe's, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They smoochy, sell it. Smoochy, smoochy downtown. <laughs> it's the side. <laughs> the bad side. Of All right, here we go. Digging for oil, fatty. Huh? You get in there? Um, What'd your mom do? My mom was a teacher, second grade teacher. Nice. She okay. just retired, though. She's all free. Oh, Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, Very yeah, yeah, hacking yeah, yeah. it in, relaxing. Mm -hmm. What do your two sisters do? Older sister is a school nurse. Okay. Yes, and uh, and married rich. So nice. good job. Love that. Yeah, really happy. Tech for money? It. No, no, no. Uh, country money. Like country. Uh, he's like a, a driller, like a an oil drill. Not an oil okay. driller, but he like drills for economic. I don't. If you you couldn't pay me right now <laughs> to tell me what he does. Out what he does. But yeah. I know he has rigs and he well, drills. So right. he's hillbilly rich. Yes, hillbilly gotcha. rich. There we go. Do right. they live out in San Fran? They live in Sacramento, the suburbs of Sacramento, okay. on like a farm. Okay. Yes. Ooh, yeah, they nice. have a pool house. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah. That's, that's country money. That's country money. Not but billiards, like an actual like swimming pool. No, they have billiards. Really? And they have a swimming pool and a tennis court. What? Whoa. I know. I know. I know. Yikes. But they but he also like fishes and wears a lot of camo. So let's mm -hmm. not get crazy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no teeth. But I know still the teeth. <laughs> All right. And yeah. get to the younger sister? No, I was going to ask okay. you how does your dad start doing Dog, tra dog training. Well, he. Um, what, what kind of dog was it? It, it was a. Uh, oh my god! A Wait, he was Schnauzer. He was only training his dog. He only training his dog for what? Like MMA? What was he training? <laughs> I think he just like really got into it. 
depression's a hell of a thing. Okay? Sure. Hey, <laughs> listen, I'm big on you gotta fill the time somehow. There's a lot of stag. When did he start times. doing this? Uh, he started doing it maybe like six, seven years ago. Okay. And he took a class and he really got into it. He loved it. Big fan of the class. And so he was training his dog, Ryder, sweet boy. Had he already had the dog? He had already had the dog. So yes. he wasn't training other people's dogs. He no, was no, training. No. Okay. Just his one dog. He just wanted his dog to be the best dog yeah. it possibly could. But my dad is like a recluse. He does not like being around people. Okay. And so he just basically built that track in his backyard so that he wouldn't have to go to the track and deal with people. Wow. Yeah. Your mom and dad still together? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, still in love. Okay. Ish, I think. Yeah. They're, they're doing going good. to smoochy smoochy downtown. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the one thing that never stopped. They do the smoochy smoochy downtown. I don't know. All if you spend a lot of time in the backyard building racetracks for your dog, <laughs> sounds like a loveless marriage. Yeah, you don't want to, to be in the house. I'm surprised they're together. Oh, I was trying good. to be polite. Everybody's um, got their hobbies. I just mom. bought pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Keep me in the backyard for a couple of months. Uh, wow, okay. That's wonky. That's a first. That's an AYG first. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, did you know anybody else with that growing up? Uh, no. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, that's making unique. an American yeah. gladiator <laughs> <laughs> fucking for your miniature <laughs> schnauzer? Yeah. I thought you were just saying, like, golden retriever, collie, no. something. Your dad <laughs> shooting it with tennis balls? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Iceman. <laughs> and just to be clear, it's not a big backyard. Okay, so how big? Just... Give me, like, a ballpark. I mean, maybe the size of this room. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah. This is the size of our backyard, and there is a deck, and then I down is- like a wow. rolling green. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, how big is that? That's no. what the neighborhood's like. Yeah, it's The it's house suburbia. is close together. Is it mm-hmm. grass or concrete? Uh, Well, it's- uh, Original. Dirt, and- Oh, no, grass. Okay. okay. And then um, and then he put Man, fake turf backyard. on top of the stuff. <laughs> Yikes. You have, you're, so you currently have AstroTurf in your backyard? Yes, currently. Mm-hmm. What's the front yard? The front yard is- Marbles? <laughs> Gra- gravel? What are we doing? <laughs> We have a very nice lawn. It's we a have ball a very pit. nice lawn. We have and then my dad collects a lot of figurines. <laughs> so like action <laughs> figures? And are you Gary? This is this is this is really shaping up. Shout out to he's, the big guy out he's there. He's gotta be he's Living gotta be on Are You life. Gary. <laughs> we'll fly him out. He's gotta be on Are You Gary. He's What's amazing. What's a figurine? Figure <laughs> like uh you know like uh, <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> Like uh, you know, like gnomes and stuff, but they make a whole bunch of stuff. It's <laughs> so he's a wizard. I don't like that. But at it's all. like he does um, like Disney figurines, like Mickey, Minnie, and um, how many? Wow. Give me a number, a ballpark. Well, okay. Um, uh, we they... do have two homes. I will say that you okay. do. Yes. One's only for gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Honestly, underground girl. <laughs> I mean, the, one of them has like thirty gnomes. The other one has like ten. Wait, why do you have two homes? Well, my Where dad stays. <laughs> Marriage is great. <laughs> well, um, my my nano R.I.P. passed away. Okay, he was uh, he did well, and so he left us some money, and so my parents were able to buy a little country home. Okay, um, yeah, it's very nice. It's a tiny little two bedroom or three bedroom situation. Nice. Where do you do something like that sticks. out there? Uh, up there, we we live right near a lake, so um, my my rich cousin, my rich brother in law has a boat, and so we go on the there. boat. Yeah, up there. And wow, that's pretty. That's pretty good money when you have a boat at someone else. Does he keep it up there, or mm-hmm. he brings it? He has. I think. Uh, no, he brings it. Okay. I don't know. Well, I don't they like have a trailer. Two, they have two boats. Wow. I know. I know. Whenever I go home, I just compare myself, and it's really it's upsetting. Tough. Yeah, it's tough. Hold on, it's though. Tough. But they work very hard. Sure. But he he doesn't drive the boat into the lake. The boat comes on a trailer. Uh, they have two boats. They have one for like water skiing and okay. stuff, and then they have another boat for his fishing. That's and he rich like does guy shit. on this on he this. He has lake. his hobbies. Yes. So they that's where they vacation or they go mm-hmm. out there. Yeah, they go out there. They have a nice time. But the boats live out there. Yeah, and then if the one boat lives out there, the other boat he takes with him. So when he does competitive fishing. He mm. takes it with them. Ooh. I know. It's a whole situation. Yeah. I thank God that they don't listen to podcasts because <laughs> I'm really airing that it out. That guy's definitely not listening to Are You Garbage. <laughs> no, I can no, guarantee no. you that. Although he is a little bit garbage. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> but in a very nice way. Sure. So two homes. <laughs> he's like a nice back. fella. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice fella. Of course. I got to make sure that's clear. <laughs> yes, of course. That's that's understood. <laughs> Are they indoor gnomes or ones out like that Outdoor you put in gnomes. the grass? So in that's what he collects. Yes, he collects those. I ran over one once and he got, he tried not to be mad, but he was like, Heartbroken. I need to buy another one. So he doesn't have it in the house. So no, he collects- my mom does the tchotchkes in the house. There's oh. a lot of tchotchkes oh. in the house. Oh. And then- <laughs> like, give me an example. Dusting in this place must be a mess. 
<laughs> Must be upside down. What's a tchotchke? A I mean, I know what it is, but what are you? The what are her tchotchkes? Well, it depends on the season. Okay, there is winter tchotchkes, tchotchkes. There is Easter tchotchkes. There are summer tchotchkes. There's Thanksgiving tchotchkes. It's she decorates porcelain season. turkeys and things like mm-hmm. that. And then also the figurines that are like, oh, uh, three bears for her three daughters. You know, it's like cherished teddies. You know what I mean? And that's not lingerie, people. <laughs> 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 What's a cherished teddy? Oh, well, oh, they're there. My mom loves bears. You said that like we come from tchotchke people. <laughs> Chashkis right now. Like, yeah. These are it's a can of cheese whiz. <laughs> <laughs> and a six pack of Budweiser. <laughs> They're chashki ish. <laughs> You're correct. They are chashki ish. Yeah. My mom. My mom collects. I'm going to butcher this. They're called Briars Carolers. Ice cream? She no. collects ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I collect ice cream. No, they're they're not porcelain. They're like they're like Muppets. <laughs> or I don't like dolls, and they're they're going like that. They're singing Christmas songs. Yeah, she has those. Is it, yeah, but that's a Christmas decoration. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. these are around all the time. Uh, the cherished teddies are around all the time. Yes, and then my sister has like wooden ones that are like it's a different. She's into brand. it too. Well, not the cherished teddies, but she collects like these wooden angels. So they're like very, I don't know. We got a live one I mean, here, it's a gang. lot. It's so Yikes. new. Fish are jumping on the it, boat. It honestly makes Christmas buying very easy because you just, you just get go, her hey, the get latest. Her, get her a new chocolate. Cherished yeah. teddy or whatever that angel thing is. And she's mm-hmm. like, oh. And then my sister also loves snowmen. So you can just buy her snowmen, anything. And she's happy. Were you a Beanie Baby person growing yes, up? Yes, I was. Absolutely. Thank you so much. <laughs> I bet your mom still is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Waiting for that ship to come in. Yeah, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. And they're still in a tub in the in the um, attic. And then my mom went through them to see if they were worth any money. And they're not. Yeah, so. They are not. Should have stuck not. with the baseball cards, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had them. He had them. <laughs> Gary. Are Gary. you Gary? Um, Gary's the best. So they still live in the same house mm-hmm. you, grew, you grew up in? I grew up in, yeah. So, so we won't ask you the exact name of the the residents but it's a big thing <laughs> did you grow up on a street an avenue a boulevard like, a circle avenue it was a an avenue. avenue yeah huh but it was it is, is there a number in front of that or a name a name okay i'll say it it's uh, holly avenue hmm. it's not right. bad. It's and nice. because every year for christmas we light up um i've talked about it on other okay, okay. So, uh, i won't give you the number sure. but um they three. Have, it's three. They Just have, look for the gnomes. In the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Honestly, the battalion of gnomes in the front yard. We might have to bleep it. <laughs> Yikes! But every year we do Christmas decorations because it is a Christmas street. Yes. Oh, really? The whole street does Christmas decorations. Wow! You guys mm-hmm. all get together. Mm-hmm. Now let me ask you: Do people come and, and tour it? Yes, people wow. drive slow on our street. Really? Fuck! Yes. You're one of those streets. We're one of those streets. Do you have somebody out there? Collecting a little money for the effort. No. Okay. Not as they do that in Brooklyn. Around. They do that in Brooklyn. They also do that in another neighborhood in uh, where I'm from. Really? But we're, we're not those people. Nobody's you know? collecting. No one's collecting. It's free. Take a look. It's Go free. Ahead. Take a look. We're doing this for the love of the game. Gary's you know? up in the window out of the <laughs> shower. <laughs> Let him have a peek. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He does it. My mom huh. loves it. He puts it on a timer. It's a whole thing. It's pretty good. We leave it up for a while, too. Well, I. what's a while? Uh, February, March. March? I'm I sorry. Mean, I think the headphones <laughs> are broken. It's not like you said February, March. Well, we, my mom likes them. She likes the icicles, so she likes to drive down the street and see them. It makes her Wait, happy. Wait, so you have icicle lights on your house into March? Sometimes. Whoa. Growing up, we would have them for a long time because we were very busy. Colored lights? Uh, yeah, well, yes. They used to be colored lights, and now they're LED blue lights. <laughs> From Costco. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Signature Kirkland. <laughs> Very good stuff. <laughs> fake Man. Christmas tree, real Christmas tree? Uh, fake. Okay. Fake now. Used to be real. Growing up was real. Somebody allergic? No, no. As my you mom, get older, it's tougher. Yeah, yeah my Don't mom just a got a deal at Costco. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no, Kmart. Sorry. Ooh, man. <laughs> yeah. Kmart <laughs> people. Yikes. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I thought the Chotskys were oh, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to Target like a respectable person. Absolutely not. <laughs> huh. Did you go to a public high school, private school? Public. Did you go to college? I did, twice. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm a doctor. Um, <laughs> you would think for how much I paid, but nope. <laughs> where'd you go? I went to UC San Diego for okay. undergrad, and then I went to Pratt Institute for graduate school. Here in Brooklyn. Uh-huh. So now that leads us how you got out here. What'd you major in? Uh, art. I majored in media studies in undergrad and art history. Okay. And then out here I did, um, it's called New Forms. It's uh, 
<laughs> it's a photographer. Sounds real tchotchke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, studied, I studied gnome history. Yeah. yeah. Wait till you hear what I did. Um, there I did. is not a better scam on earth than art school. I oh, gotta say. 100%. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. Pratt's a good school, though. It is. It is a very good school. You want to be a barista. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, buddy, I was. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Kip, let's talk about athletic greens. AG1. AG1. It's just called on the streets. I ain't talking AG3. I ain't talking AG2. I'm talking AG1 first place. Of course. Number one. El numero uno. The gold star. Mm-hmm. The best. Let yeah. me tell you something about athletic greens. Tell me. Th- tell you why I started taking it. Why is that? I started taking it because and when I was in the gym... Well, I started taking it because they sent me a free batch. Sure. But then I re-upped because I liked it so much. Yeah. It tastes great. Powers me through my workouts. All right? It's absolutely fantastic. Put a little on top of your donuts. It's a one-stop shop. I'm telling you right now. Immunity, gut health, the whole nine yards. It's like a super-duper-duper-duper-duper multivitamin. Yeah, it's got 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. And at this point, I know what those are. Nice. Uh, Not really. Uh, it's lifestyle friendly, whether you eat paleo, uh, keto, vegan, dairy free, gluten free, contains less than one gram of sugars. There you no go. No GMOs, no nasty chemies, artificial anything, and it still tastes great. Tastes great, really does. Uh, tons of people are taking some kind of multivitamin. It's important to choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. Anybody can just take them. Yeah. You got to absorb them. Yeah. Plus, you get the cool shaker with it. You look cool. It's green when you drink it, so it looks like, I feel like Tony Stark in Iron Man because he always drinks sure. like cool things. Yeah. yeah. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. One scoop one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills, supplements. I take it and I not take it. You drink your AG1, you go, you go to bed. That's what it one is. One scoop? I've been doing four. <laughs> okay. Getting ripped. <laughs> Getting yoked over here, dude. <laughs> uh, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin Look D. Look at that. Five free travel packs with your Look first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash garbage again. That's athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Take ownership over your health. Pick up the ultimate daily nutritional and shards back to the show. Let's go back to the show. I, I was a barista. I was a brunch bartender. Oh, God. A brunch. I did a... Specialized in brunch. Thank you so Could only much. make bellinis and mimosas. That's yeah, it. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, but I could make them fast. <laughs> you should have seen me. Almost as fast as the little schnauzer. Finish yeah. the course. <laughs> Craig he was really Bloody Mary. chubby. He never did well. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, too. I didn't think he He's was stuck. a pro. I mean. <laughs> Your dad thought he was grooming a champion. Yeah. <laughs> My dad has the biggest heart of Aww. anyone in the world. He That's believed awesome. in that little guy, and that little guy was not having it. <laughs> what uh, What was the high school mascot? Mustangs. Oh, That's I should tell you American. The, the name of my high school. Yes. Cappuccino. I'm sorry? <laughs> you are a barista. <laughs> Cappuccino High School? <laughs> Cappuccino High School. That's yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Apparently, back in the day. I went to London Fog Elementary School, <laughs> so it all worked out. <laughs> London Fog. It's a deep cut. It's a tea. Yeah, no, but I get it's it. A, I it's was a steam there. tea. I used to. I used to be a barista. I, I thought it was you. a raincoat you were talking about. <laughs> it is as well. It is. Members only Velvet university. Kind of guy. Uh, Cappuccino High School. Yes, you know that's what we would say. Home of the steamers. <laughs> no, nothing. All right. Oh, okay. I laughed. I was actively laughing. Toby doesn't laugh. It doesn't count. Oh, all right. Well, he's looking at Ca- it. Cappuccino <laughs> hot. That sounds like something from like mm-hmm. a bad TV show. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it's spelt differently because it was the name of a ranch, <laughs> oh, okay. a Mustang Ranch. Uh, uh, that was there before. Uh, all a Mustang right. Ranch. That's making a little bit of sense. Cappuccino Ranch. C A P U C H I N O. So only one P. So it's not the actual drink. Literally, the amount of times I've said this outside of my mouth sure. is just wow. insane. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good school? Uh, uh, fine. Yeah. It was, it was fine. It was like your run-of-the-mill public school, okay. but with, like, um, I guess, uh, more working-class kids. Sure. Okay. Yes. So uh, we didn't have... We had, like, one rich girl, and she was, like, Queen Bee. Wow. But she had a BMW. So. Whoa. She hate her? Um, she was nice to me, but she was mean to all my friends. So, wow. Yeah. Did she date the hot guy in school? I don't think so. Okay. I didn't go to her I school. I wonder what she's doing. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> what were the grades like? I did okay. I, um, I Got played, an art school. I got an art school, but I played <laughs> soccer, and, uh, okay. so that got me into college. Oh, really? Basically. Is yeah. that a division one school? D2. Nice. Yes. Very and, nice. uh, I Very got the cool. bare minimum to get into the school. Okay. But, uh, I had like a three, six, three, seven. 
but that school is like for brainy people. So the average was four one four two. Mm-hmm. But because I played soccer, they yeah, were like, "That's yeah, okay." Yeah. Nice. What were the uh, SAT scores looking like? Twelve hundred. Whoa! Is that a, is that good? Yeah, it's not bad. It's better than me. I'm no yeah. longer the smartest guy in the room. Oh, a, you better suck it. <laughs> I got an eight seventy. You did what? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Those are gnome scores. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real Gary score. <laughs> Did Gary go to college? No, no, he went straight to He's work a, for his father. Okay, an artiste. Yeah, it was a family business. And oh, so, so that's the and and by the way, we skipped mm-hmm. over this. You referred to your grandfather, I believe, as Nano. Nano. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, Italian. Though, Italian, right? very yeah. Italian. Okay, yeah. all right, I'll yeah, give yeah, you yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Is your mother Italian as well? No, big problem. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> What's she? She's a like a European mutt. She was a little bit everything. Okay. Yeah. 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 Could, Italian, English, Scottish situation. Who did the cooking at the house? Dad. Papa Gary. 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 Mm-hmm. Cooks with love, that guy. Yeah, he Gary's does. Right. <laughs> He's got a big heart. I, big, Gary's got a big heart and a big wooden spoon. Let's yeah. stir that gravy. Gary, you got, a, you got a big fan club out here on the East Coast, buddy. Gary. Let me tell you that. <laughs> what would Gary bad. cook? Gary, a lot of Italian food. Nice. He makes really good meatballs with mozzarella cheese in the middle. Whoa. Oh, he hand rolls them, the whole thing. He makes really good pesto. Mm. Love a good pesto. You appreciate mm-hmm. pesto as you get older. Yeah. Big yeah. pesto guy. Yeah. I had, I had a cousin come in from Montana, and he was like, why is my pasta green? And we were like, just put it in your mouth. Yeah. It's very good. Shout out to pesto. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, just yeah. started eating pesto maybe a couple of years ago. Oh, it's great. It's good Welcome. stuff. It's nice. Thanks for having me. Yeah. What was the name of the grocery store that your mom went to? Uh, my mom would go to either uh, Lunardi's, which is very Italian. Okay. That was right up the street. Then we also they had- only sold spaghetti. Uh, we had an Albertsons and a Luckies. And Albertsons, a all right. Yeah. Classy, yeah. classy. Um, Never heard of Luckies, though. It, it became Albertsons. Okay. Yeah. And hmm. then- It was um, Albertsons. They was, in the 90s, they bought up everything. Yeah, they yeah. were cooking. And then it, we had a, I believe it was Safeway, but then it got bought out by- uh, Molly Stones, and it's too uppity for us now. Oh, Molly Stones is fancy. Sounds pretty Molly classy. Stones is fancy. My little sister started working there, so then we started going because we would get the discount. <laughs> mm-hmm. We did the oh, same thing, yeah. It's just too I was much. working at an What act, was your I first job? My first job, I was 16, and I was working at a fitness center like a Curves. Okay. okay. It was called Fitness Express. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. What'd and, you do? Oh, this is so- Counter girl or so? I was the recruiter. And but I had to go the recruiter. And, oh yeah, yeah. I would recruiting have to, people to join or people to work there to work uh, to join. So I would go to like parking lots of of like uh, oh, places, God. and I'd have to go to women who are like forty and overweight and be like, "Hi, you want to join our gym?" Oh, Not that you need it, but gosh. would you? Hey, fatty, can I talk yeah. to you for a minute? <laughs> Literally, that's what I, I look back at it now, and I was like, if one of those little fuckers came up yeah. to me, I'd kick him in the cunt. I just heard. I'm oh, sorry. I said the you pull out. You pull out a bag of Skittles. You got a couple of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wowza. At yeah. 16, you were you were recruiting. 16, 17. Yeah, because I was very fit. I was like yoked. I look back at pictures of myself. I was like. Yoked. <laughs> Never heard a girl be like, "Yo, I was fucking yoked." I dog. was. I mean, but I was like thin. But I was like, I had like abs and shit. Sure. Gotcha. But Soccer not on player. purpose. Soccer yeah, player. not on purpose. It wasn't like a active. Mm. I probably didn't even know I had abs. You know what I mean? Does mm. Gary work out? No. No. He tries. He goes for a walk, and then sometimes he had these Gary, arm bands. On. And, oh, this is another thing. At one point, Ryder, the dog, he went blind, and so he got a scooter, and he would take uh, Ryder on walks. The course and numbers put... went real down. <laughs> Dude, he got a when real lemon here. Yeah. I don't understand this. <laughs> and he put a sign on the, the scooter or the, the buggy, and it said, blind dog. <laughs> oh, Gary. Blind dog on board. Does Gary have a mustache? He's got just like a goatee situation, I and figured. mostly it's in the neck. I figured. Yeah. Gary's the best. Gary's all right. Gary sounds great. Yeah. Tell mm-hmm. you, are you Gary's got real potential. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. <laughs> NBC, give me a call. <laughs> okay. Let's do some are you garbage questions. Okay. Hold go- on. What was that before, before we, uh, but still in the backstory a little bit. What Please was the family ahead. vacation like growing up? Oh, uh, well, we would go, my grandparents, they built their own cabin in the woods in the same area that my parents bought their cabin they okay. built a cabin it was like a a-frame mm-hmm. two-bedroom cabin we would all sleep on the deck and then the outside parents would, yeah we would sleep outside 
And um, <laughs> man, he's Palooza. We went in January. Oh, wacky. <laughs> but we would spend. My mom was a teacher, and my grandparents were both teachers, so we spend all of our summers there. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then all the cousins would too. And then my grandparents had a motor home, so we would travel around the U.S. Um, we go to KOAs and sleep in this. We would call it the Magic Pumpkin. Okay, KOAs. Fine. I'm sorry. Tough. Hang on. <laughs> now these are your mom's parents. We're talking about. These are my mom's parents. Yes. So, so, like, so I have this correct. Sound like travelers. <laughs> yes. We like yeah. to travel. Real gypsy shit. I we mean. like going to from town to town, ripping people off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so just so I have this understanding. Sure. Gary's dad owned his own company. Gary's dad owned his own company. That, that Gary worked for for a few years, and then he branched out and worked and for did his own place. thing. Yeah, he needed health insurance, so he had to go. And that grand and, and that grandfather did very well. Yeah, okay. grandfather did very well. And did your mom's grandparents do well? They were both teachers, um, and they did well. You know, they had a house. Are they still with us? One, gra- my grandma is. She's uh, 96. Does whoa. She, whoa. Does she live in the in the house by the lake? She does. Yeah, she during does. COVID, she lived up there because no one could touch and her. And then you guys <laughs> have the house by the lake. Yeah, now we have right another house her. by gotcha. the lake. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Now, who had the RV? Grandma. Your mom's. My mom's grandma. You guys yeah, would, my mom's mom. And you guys would go on family vacations mm-hmm. in their RV with your grandparents. Yes. You, your three sisters, Gary, and your mom. Yes. And you would go to where? KOAs. KOAs. We went to like Wyoming. During the 1996 Olympics, What's KOAs? we went down there. Was it Atlanta. Camping of America or something? Yeah, Campgrounds of America. Campgrounds of America. <sighs> it's like a one-stop <laughs> shop. You can just go and they have everything set up. You're not like, you know. Just driving into the woods. Did you say you drove to the Olympics? Yeah, we drove to the 1996 Olympics. In Atlanta. In Atlanta. But did we you did get like tickets? A, yeah. Yeah, we went to go see um, the women's soccer team. Okay. Like, oh, that's fun. Because we right. went, my sister was on a soccer team, and so they like planned a trip so that the team could go around and Now, where do you park the car? Where do you park the camper? You park it in a KOA, and then you take a bus. <laughs> Ooh. You didn't pull the car behind you? No. You that's took a bus? I think so. My... I think, yeah, we didn't have a car. What did Gary say about all this? Gary, um, he conveniently had to work a lot. Yeah, so. classic. <laughs> Gary, I don't have time for that shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> got, got gnomes, meatballs to make. Got gnomes to buy. Him. <laughs> <laughs> what? I got a whole plate of sauce here. What are you doing? <laughs> Fucking driving to Atlanta to watch a girls' <laughs> soccer team. Kick rocks. He was the coach. He uh, was the coach. Really? So Gary he, was the coach? Yeah, he was the Heart of gold, this Gary. Wow. <laughs> he was our soccer coach, and so he would your fly high sc- down to meet us. Not at your high school. He did the JV team, but not the varsity team. Ga- you're telling me Gary <laughs> was the junior varsity? You're stand here and tell me Gary was the JV coach? <laughs> the head coach? Of Cappuccino High? Of the yes, Cappuccino Mustangs? Yeah, he also taught me how to do hurdles. He was the track coach. The really? varsity track coach? Mm-hmm. When does Gary have time to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> and what's that meatball recipe? Hey, Gary definitely doesn't have time to drive to fucking Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Gary's Christ. got nine irons in the fire over here. <laughs> no wonder we're Gary, in Cappuccino High. Retire. Take a break. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. He yeah. was the head track and field coach? Yeah. Jesus Christ, this yeah. poor man. <laughs> he loved it. Plus, he's trying to train the goddamn yeah. dog. <laughs> yeah. well, poor he dog. got the dog later. That, okay. didn't, we didn't have a dog at that point. Working on his own special Olympian in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Does the I just picture him out there with a stopwatch, like, all right, you're doing pretty good, rascal. <laughs> it's over in the neighbor's yard. <laughs> yeah. He's running into the wall, licking himself something. No oh. pets growing up. We had two dogs and two cats. Um, but they were like outdoor animals. Whoa. Let's okay. put a quick button in that. What do you mean outdoor animals? Like the <laughs> the cats, we had a window open in our garage and they would come in and out and they would Did you buy these cats? No. No, no. They so, just, yeah. They we, were someone else's cats. These they, were feral <laughs> an, These were feral animals. These were your yeah. neighbor's cats. Bro. Midnight was like S- ASPCA okay. and then she was pregnant and so Ooh, I actually saw them give birth. Oh. That is what a thing. Yikes. And Gary yeah. probably delivered them. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dr. Doolittle over here. Gar, take a break if you're <laughs> if you're out there. This guy drives the bus to school, coaches the team, probably the principal. Is there anybody else in his goddamn cappuccino town? Jesus. He's doing everything. <laughs> Gary's holding up Is the there goddamn any other dad something. I mean, he's good lord. All on top of being a master craftsman. <laughs> We're going to find out that Gary was a set of twins. <laughs> <laughs> It's like multiplicity. <laughs> Gary figured out a way to clone himself in the early 70s. <laughs> Shout out to Gary. 
<laughs> All right, so you bought the one cat, or you got it from the SPCA. ASPCA, and then she was pregnant, and so she had kittens, and then we kept one kitten. Okay. And okay. They, they would go outside, inside. We would feed them in our garage, and okay. so we had a, like a doggy door almost. Sure. So they never came into the house? Yeah, they came into the house. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. What'd yeah. you do with the other kittens? The other kittens, we gave them away. Okay. Uh, my aunt has one baby. Made okay. balls. And then <laughs> the other one, I don't know. I what? think we gave it to a friend. And okay. what's this? Were the dogs outside dogs? They were outside dogs. What does yeah. that mean? We had... Um, it means they weren't nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were, we were not great. We had... Um, you couldn't <laughs> give them cuddles and scritches, okay? <laughs> it's definitely different. Than it was. I mean, you're a 90s kid. <laughs> yeah. Nobody had outdoor dogs. Yeah, we had outdoor Unless you dogs. were a tracker or something well, like we that. Well, um, we had a, a porch outside. Like, it was a patio, so it was covered. Still outside. It was still outside. Yeah. Yeah. This is goddamn house. It get cold. Sure. And we had, like, a dog bed and a doggy houses and stuff like that. Did they come in the house? Yeah, every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, mostly the they, were, cigarettes. <laughs> they were outside. <laughs> <laughs> they ran out of cigars. Yeah. Hey, you guys are going to Atlanta for the week, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> When will that be? Yeah, we, yeah, what's the combo to the safe again? <laughs> Did Gary have a safe? No. Did Gary have any nickel? What do you Gary mean? Gary, gun guy. No, 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 no. No, no. My, my dad, I think, was in a fight once in high school. Aw. He's a very... Who the hell would hurt Gary? He'd probably beat I himself mean. up. <laughs> <laughs> he does, does that everything. regularly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't find one guy to kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and when you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Man, any job worth doing is worth doing right. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, all right. This is who friends growing up. Yeah, I had friends. No, Gary. I mean. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> do sleepovers and all that. Yeah, Gary? we did sleepovers. <laughs> no, he did not. Uh, no, yeah, we did. We did sleepovers. Were you a bad kid? I was the bad kid. I was the horny kid. The horny kid. Yeah, the one that would always talk about sex and. And had crushes on boys and all okay. that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Did you get in mm. any trouble? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What'd I you mean, do? Nothing bad. Like, I didn't do drugs yeah. or drink or anything. But No I, drinking? No, but I would sneak, really? sneak out of the house and, like, go see boyfriends and stuff. I know. Doing things? Not until my senior year. Okay. I was a tease, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can't be giving away the goods. No, yeah. no. no. Got to keep the boys talking. Keep them coming back for more. Huh? Yeah, but I Gary made wouldn't out- allow that. By no. the way. Gary didn't raise a whore. All right. <laughs> no, he did. <laughs> God damn it, Gary! This guy I mean, does it all. You try your best with these kids. You can't. Yeah, you know. He's very proud. <laughs> but he says he can only see me perform once a year. <laughs> oh yeah, you're yeah. yeah he's so fucking course. busy. What do you mean? <laughs> Guy's up to his eyeballs. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, not until this podcast did I realize how much my parents were doing. Yeah, it's what like the fuck? Wild. Are they yeah. retired now or anything? My or? mom is retired. My dad has two years left. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, two years. Uh, until he retires. Until he's 65? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's going he's gonna to get out when he's 65. Yeah, he's done. You he's, do it, Gary. You yeah. enjoy yourself, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to go up to the lake and just fucking sit. Yeah. That's Gary drink. Be. Does he like a cocktail, Gary? He used to. Yeah. But he is now no Dry. longer. Quit drinking. Good. Quit drinking. Good nice. for you guys. This guy. I mean, he's he wanted to save his marriage. He's lived. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to save his marriage. Why? Yeah. The drinking was getting an issue? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it not? I mean... Well, I think he realized that the only time that they really fought was when he was drinking. And okay. So he was like, it was never anything bad. But what was his drink? Beer. Really? Loved beer, loved whiskey. Ooh. Yeah. And so yeah. he gave it up. I love you, pal. He gave it up. Gave it up for his, for his wife and his mm-hmm. family. Yeah. Fucking rock solid, this guy. I tell you right now. <laughs> you, on the other hand. I know. Lady. What a mess. <laughs> Sneaking out to kiss boys. I know. I did. Garage? You guys have a garage? We had a garage, but it was filled with too much <laughs> shit. <laughs> Couldn't park a car in nope, there. No, no yeah. car in there. Was it a two car garage or a one car? One car garage. Okay. Um, Did you have a refrigerator in there? No. No, no garage that's... fridge, huh? No garage fridge. I'd imagine Gary had another freezer or fridge somewhere in the house. No, we just had a really, really full fridge. One fridge man. One fridge man. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Just when you think you know Gary. Yeah. You know Gary. <laughs> really turned you upside down. What kind of car does Gary drive? Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. This is really becoming about Gary. Is he single by any chance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What'd your parents drive growing up? Uh, growing up when I was little, we had an, a brown arrow star. Ooh. <laughs> That's the worst color, worst car oh ever. God. Talk about a turd machine. Yeah. <laughs> it was that so That thing's bad. a log rolling yeah. down a highway. Must have been fighting the boys off with a stick, huh? 
Did it Yikes. smell like eggs? A lot of them smell. A lot of those Aero Stars all smell like <laughs> I mean, rotten eggs. I'm sure eventually. Yeah. yeah. The catalytic converter, oh, I think, is bad. what it was. We had that, and then we had a red Suburban. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we had a red. We called it the Suburbity Bourbon. A nine, a ninety Suburban, the old school. Yes, ones. the old school ones. The, the boxy one. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah, yeah, great yeah. though. Mm-hmm. It was very. It was fun because it had like a TV in the console. Really? Yeah, you could put uh, uh, tapes in, uh -huh. you know, VHS. Oh, VHS in So there. then when we were driving shit, I'd what, across the country. Like in the front or in the back? In the back for the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, we would yeah. watch like Disney movies. Yeah. I've never heard of a VHS, a VCR. Oh, no, yeah. they were big right. in the conversion vans. Did you have to put the TV in there? We no, bought it that way. You bought it that way. Because yeah. a lot of those conversion vans came with an empty spot that you would just have to put like a nine-inch TV in with, and you could pull one in with the cassette player. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. We bought it used. We I don't think my parents have ever bought a My mom just bought her new first car. new car. Really? Yeah. yeah. They actually they just did not too long ago. They bought two new cars, but it, my dad bought a bright blue truck and my mom the color choices on these people <laughs> I mean, is fun. It is like your shirt. Like that's the color of the truck. <laughs> what kind of truck? Ford, Chevy, what is he? Ford. They Ford, buy man. only by American. Really? Because mm -hmm. they're patriot. Gary's a fucking patriot. Gary's okay? all right. Yeah, my Not mom. They're driving my, a commie truck. Yeah, my mom is the one who was like, "We're buying American," and he's really? like, "Okay, yeah." Where are these Chotskys being made? Oh, who? See, mm -hmm. exactly. Looks yeah. the other way. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, Louise. But Louise is, uh, you know, she's Louise and American. Gary. In I my, know. In my head, on the side of the truck, it's wrapped, and it just says Gary Inc. We do it all. <laughs> 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 I'll find the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll pencil you in. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's uh, do it here. All right. Let's find this out. This is a wonky one. Wonky. <laughs> you yeah, no, it's a good yeah, it's a good thing. You're all over the place. Yeah, I know. We're we're like um oh. we're like we're liberal trash, I feel like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're very open minded, but boy, whew, hmm. not classy folk. Were you a picky eater growing up? No. We we ate what was in front of us, and you better eat it. Really? Yeah. Did you pack your lunch or buy your lunch at uh, Cappuccino High? Uh, when I was in high school, I would usually bring my lunch. But when I was younger, Gary would pack our lunch, and it was oh. like, a, "We'll see what happens." Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, I remember one time we got a tortilla with peanut butter in it, just rolled up. <laughs> I don't hate it. I got to be honest with you. I would crush one of those right now. <laughs> And then it would just be like a full carrot. Like yeah, just like whatever. You're the only kid in third grade <laughs> eating pesto. <Yeah. laughs> Fuck. Uh. It was our our lunches were always just like a because they because my dad didn't always cook. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom got too busy at work, and okay. so he it was. She was like, "You're home at two o'clock. You get to take over." Sure dinner time and so there was like a learning curve where it was like a two-year period where yeah, we get like carrot casserole yeah, and just, just whatever whatever <laughs> just mashed potatoes yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> the bob evans ones yeah. oh those are all right <laughs> did when you took a lunch did you take brown bag or did you have a brown bag yeah, yeah. okay brown bag no mm -hmm. lunch box uh mm. i would lose it all the time but i always wanted one and my mom would be like bitch mm -hmm. oh. yeah mm-hmm mm. Brown bag and keep it moving. Yeah, keep it moving. Do you eat your pizza crust? Yes, and you I do. dip it in ranch. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it so much. Hidden Valley, though. <laughs> yeah. Get, I mean, get away from the We're not craft. animals. Get out of here. <laughs> um, do you know how to use chopsticks? <laughs> yes. But okay. I grew up in the Bay Area. Uh, true. You know? So I know, I know Chinese food and I know Mexican food. Okay. Nice. Yes. But does Gary like sushi? No. No? <laughs> he doesn't eat seafood at all. R wow. No, hates it. Wow. He thinks it smells. Okay. We would have like- Can't argue with you there, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> our family reunion, we would do a crab chipino, but our family was the only family that didn't eat seafood, so he would cook ribs alone. Your whole family doesn't eat seafood? My mom does, and then the rest of us do not. Do you not? not? I do now. Uh -huh. I moved to New York, yeah. and then I tried seafood, and I was like, this stuff is good, but big I still can't- Big chipino fan. I'm a big chipino fan. Oh, see, I don't like cooked seafood. I don't like raw seafood. Like sushi? Yeah, I like sushi. Um- I like uh, like a tartar stuff like that. Shrimp cocktail, fancy. Yeah, I'll do a here. I'll do a shrimp cocktail, but cooked shrimp, it's like rubber. Same with like really? trout and salmon. Trout. It's eating it's trout. Mountain folk. <laughs> <laughs> That's hillbilly shit right Who there. The fuck's eating. <laughs> you ever have perch? <laughs> if I went to a restaurant and they had trout on the menu, I'd call okay, the cops. Okay, marrow. <laughs> I was at a fancy joint. <laughs> Uh, I don't man. care how nice the boat is. Catfish is catfish. Yeah, <laughs> trout. I'll have the goldfish, please. 
grilled. If you you have any it. sunnies back there? <laughs> <laughs> any sunnies? Ooh. Um, hmm. You brush your teeth in the shower. I used to. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You Why'd stop? you stop? Um, it depends on if I'm in a hurry. Okay. But I'll do it. You I'm not above it. So you don't leave the toothbrush in there? No. It would no. be like a- That's your... assuming I shower every day. Nope. Get out of here. Do you not? No. This is the first time I showered in three days. That's how much I love you guys. Oh, Holy shit. I appreciate shit. that. <laughs> three <laughs> days a is a fucking- lot. I, My uh, brain is- Three <laughs> days? Yeah. What did you do the last three days? Well, I- We just got a kitten. Right. And, um, and I had to do like a one-off art handling job. And so it was a lot of travel, a lot of kitten. And I usually, my routine is I work out and then I shower, but I haven't had time to work out. So it didn't even compute. There was a wrench in the mix. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that I I hadn't showered. But I do that all the time. Were you kicking a little bit? What do you mean? It smelled? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Wow. What's what's the art? You said an art job? Art handling? Yeah. I install artworks like in art museums and art galleries. What? Yeah, that was, that used to be my day job. Mm -hmm. Like, give me an example, like a Demet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like all this stuff on the wall. There's like... <laughs> you mean the art? <laughs> all that shit they got in yeah. here. So you explain like also, we don't know what a museum is? <laughs> have, you, have you been? <laughs> you know there's stuff on a wall? But even like the placards and stuff, like I yeah. would be in charge of like hanging those up. And, and then it's also storing the art. And then sometimes you, if you're doing a new exhibition, you have to build a wall. So it's like construction. Did you work for a company that did this? Um, I worked for... Individual galleries and museums. So like I solo yourself. Mm-hmm, I was just you show up. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's pretty fucking interesting. And then you have to be a part of. The, sometimes you're a part of a team. Sometimes there's it, depending on how size, how big the pieces are. And then huh. we go to rich people's houses and install their art. That's always a kick because you got to go into like the service elevator. Sure. You can't yeah. go in with. Uh-uh. The, like, How'd you get in? And start doing that. I went to art school and right. I was handy because of my dad. Uh-huh. And so they would ask me to help them install their work. Okay. And then a guy uh, I went to art school with ended up working at a gallery and they needed people. And so he asked if I wanted to do it. Wow. And so it literally, I've never written a resume for it, but I've worked for like maybe 10 galleries and museums. Wow. Pretty interesting. That just really pulled you out of the fire. <laughs> Being really? garbage. She's a oh. female construction worker. <laughs> yeah, I was like, let's not get crazy. No, that's She's not high end the shit. No, I'm wearing dickies and painting. Like, <laughs> yeah. Is, is there any artist of notes whose work you've hung? I mean, I've like hung Tom Sachs uh, or some Dr. Shit? Seuss. <laughs> heard of him? Hey, nerd alert! <laughs> you said that so seriously. I love it. Like, by the way, uh, is I there? Mean, I, I've hung on like a Warhol before. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, who's a nerd now, dickhead? <laughs> yeah. Still Dave you. Warhol? Yeah. <laughs> you know Eddie Warhol? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus for the Cubs, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I get like impressed and so I'll like touch it just because I can. Oh, I love you know? that. I love like, that. Ah, I'm touching greatness. Yeah, That's pretty cool. To, I touched Evan, F- Evan Essence's Grammy. Whoa. That is the <laughs> what a weird trashiest thing. statement <laughs> that has ever been said. In this fucking room. I did. I touched it. I thought it was a guy named, as you were saying, I thought you noticed that it was a guy named Evan Essence. Wait, are you talking about <laughs> wake me up inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wake oh up. My. So- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't wake up. Just wake up. <laughs> what? How does, how does that happen? <laughs> I never. She bragged. <laughs> like You were talking was- about Andy Warhol in one breath. <laughs> You guys know P.O.D., right? (laughs) You know the guy from House of Pain? We are, we are. Uh, Well, that happens because uh, apparently Evan Essence is very, like, Christian. Okay. And uh, um, I was friends with this girl uh, whose ex-husband was in a Christian pianist. Okay. In a Christian band. And that band was house-sitting for Evan Essence in their... (laughs) The whole band? The whole <laughs> band? <laughs> They're a how, part of the same how prayer How big group. is this house? I mean. Hey, I, I'm going to need everybody in a room the whole entire time <laughs> I'm gone, okay? Hey, you don't want the keyboard player too, do you? Yeah, bring them. Yeah. And so we had like the after party there and they showed us around and there was a Grammy and I was like, can I touch it? And he was like, I wouldn't. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I touched wow. it anyway. Um, Real rule breaker. And then they prayed before and it was just me and my friend who were drinking. <laughs> so it was really embarrassing. But then they had to like pray because they were going to listen to a song, and so that we all had to hold hands, and me and my friend were like, what the 
fuck? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was it's too much. That's a lot. So too uncomfortable. much. You saw that shit on the airplane where they broke out into a Christian song. No. Oh, yeah. Just read I would have jumped out the fucking window. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yikes. Oh, baby. I'd take mm. a baby over that. <laughs> Give me a baby. Yeah. I don't mind a baby crying. I don't mind you got the baby. headphones, unless it's like on your lap, you know? It's yeah. All right. Now, listen, you mentioned the cat. You got a new kitten. I got a new kitten. <laughs> However, I, now, I love all kitty cats, doggies, and animals. Okay. Okay. Tell Kevin <laughs> what kind of cat you got. Um, well, we have two. Yeah. Okay. We have a Devon Rex, and then we have a Sphinx. We just got a Sphinx cat. Is that the one that looks like Ari Shafir? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's the one that has no hair. <laughs> that is the one that looks like Ari Shafir. <laughs> Um, he is so handsome. He's my handsome little guy. He's so small. I, He's so cute. I knew that was going to skeeve you out, dude. You want to see a picture? Come on. Not you just really, want to see a little picture. Sure. Oh, come on. <laughs> Live a little. He's my little handsome guy. Look at his name is Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Do Holy I show it to man. the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Stop feeding that thing after midnight, I will you? Mean, yeah. Yikes. He's so sweet. <laughs> Nah, he's a little baby. He's he just little took baby. my soul. Look at him. He's got human eyes on him. <laughs> and he's made of foreskin. Oh, my goodness. He's so Those handsome. are the cats that look like Ari Shafir. Right he's there. adorable. Yes. Look I at, knew that was going to ski He's so sleepy. <laughs> he's sleepy. I'm allergic to cats. It's like the book so. of Eli. Oh my Oh, no way. I imagine he was probably a couple of dollars, though. He, he, I spent more money on cats in the past two years than I've spent on Because your, <laughs> your other cat's kind of a specialty cat, too. Yeah, she's hypoallergenic, so she has curly hair. She's the cat that has curly hair. Yeah, she's no beauty queen either. Did you <laughs> see those? She's got a look to her as well. Wait, what's it called? A Dex Ryan? A Devin Rex. <laughs> a Devin Rex? A Rex Ryan. D O N R E X. D O N? D E V O N R E X. Devin Rex. Sounds like a private eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on the case. Don't you worry. Yeah, one more thing. Sorry, I couldn't help They're myself. Berries. That cutie pie. That's what put you cat. It's cute. Yeah, that's a little baby. That looks like an old man. <laughs> Yeah, go to pictures. Go to pictures. What? <laughs> Why not a tabby? A Maine Coon? Uh, something. Well, it is a it is a tabby, but it's a um. Devin Rex. Devin that thing Rex steals tabby. gold. I'm <laughs> <laughs> scary looking. Yeah, I spent a lot of money. There, on yeah, cats. no, that there are. You know, that is cute. They got cute sure. little ears. Yeah. Can we get a number? What'd you drop? On each cat or together? Let's say each cat. Each cat. Um. The Devon Rex was fourteen hundred. Whoa! Holy shit! And the Sphinx was twenty one hundred. Because it's also an elf Sphinx, so its ears are weird. But that was you that spent was... two G's <laughs> on a cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get one in the fucking park. Uh, yeah, but it's gonna make me sneeze and have my eyes water. Wow. And I've always, I think they're adorable. I've always wanted one, and so Steve These reluctantly are, both very cute. let it happen. Where, where do you it. pick up a two thousand dollar hairless cat? You well, hell, <laughs> 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 the fiery depths of hell. Uh, a lot of research, <laughs> a lot of like we found. Oh boy, <clears throat> sorry, big man's going down. <laughs> oh, you got a little extra, huh? Yeah, a little, a little sauce. <laughs> ah, it's on my pen. No, oh, no. Hold that for a second. Oh God. <laughs> got it. Uh, we got it in uh, New Jersey, but I did a bunch of research because I didn't want. Sometimes these breeders like overbreed the moms and stuff, mm -hmm. and so I made sure it was like an ethical breeding place. That's why it was also more expensive. Dropping two G's on a cat—that's pretty. It's crazy. a lifelong dream. I've w I've wanted the one since I was like in college. Hmm. It's pretty classy. I mean, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. I love. I follow a lot of them on Instagram. But now I don't have to because I got my own little guy. Are you going to make an Instagram account for the cat? We have one for our other cat, so we might just tag it on and be like, welcome, Benny. There you, know? you go. Benny and Bowie. I like it. Thank you. Uh, I like the names. Yeah. Great names. Bowie is for the rock star. Benny is for Benny and the Jets. Very nice. Because we just want to go in and be like, Benny. Love it. Benny. Big fan. Do you Thank have you. a preference of wing? Do you like the actual wing or the drumstick? Oh, I like the wing. You like flat. Give me a flat. A flat. Ooh, I'm a okay. Drum man myself. Do you nice. remove one of the bones when you eat it? Uh, yeah, you got to get in between. Like you take it off and snap it and then. Hachi machi. My friend Ethan SP taught me how to eat wings. Okay. He talk about trash. He, I ate my wings. He saw that there was still meat on the bones. He finished my wings. Oh. 
No, I don't he like went that. in. And he I don't like that. Sucking. Holy shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. I was so impressed, <laughs> but I do bring it up to everyone I've ever met. <laughs> Damn, that's wild. Yeah. Oh. Does Gary wear an earring? Yes. Really? He does. <laughs> he does. He's got an earring. Oh yeah, is he it had, a hoop or a stud? It's a stud. It's Whoa, a, I it was a dolphin a for a while. A dolphin. A dolphin, and then a turtle, and he pierced it because my middle school team or my sister's middle school team went undefeated and said so that if you bet. do that then i'll pierce Gary, my ear man of the man of the gap when he got his world's coolest dad plaque did you help him hang it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he wouldn't need help he just <laughs> he'd do it by himself he'd find the time you travel a lot oh yeah you move around a lot um do you bring food on the airplane with you uh no i get so anxious on airplanes i uh i literally i get in as late as possible mm -hmm. sit down put in headphones I don't even take snacks. I really? just sit. TSA free check? <laughs> yes, and mm -hmm. clear. Whoa. And clear. That's how little I want to be in that airport. Sure. Yeah. Wow. I show you just don't like to fly? Uh, no, I don't mind flying, but I just don't like... Um, the process. The it. process. Okay. Yeah. Take uh, your shoes off on the airplane? No. No. You got no. name brand luggage? No, I got Amazon Basics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the credit score like? Uh, not great. Maybe six something. 610, 620. Low sixes. That's low sixes. Tough. How do we Six get there? something is always, whenever you say it's something, it's mm -hmm. the low end of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you would have said it's high sixes. No, no, no. It's. Six. I think actually now I've moved it up to middle sixes. Mid six. Okay. Mid six. It's tough. I'm high sixes right now. And I'm 699. Mm. I was 745. That's great. I don't know what happened. 403. Huh? What? <laughs> that was a fat joke. <laughs> Gotta pay the bill I could somehow. get up to 699 if you'd like. Okay, is that a threat? <laughs> You're gonna get fatter <laughs> to drag you around the country. Um, no, I had uh, credit card debt when I moved to New York. Okay, I was not smart with my credit cards, and so I maxed out like four of them. Nice. What kind of cards are we talking? What do you Discover. got? Discover. Discover. Yeah, that was the big one that fucked me up. Ew. Yeah, Discover. Then I had Bank of America, Chase, and Capital One. I know, but now I got rid of all of them. Um, I took out a loan and then paid those off. And so I'm paying off the loan. Nice. And now I just have my Amex that I use for uh, comedy stuff. Good for you. Yeah. Amex, though. That's good. Yeah. The Delta Amex. So yeah, you get yeah, double yeah. Who'd you get the loan from? My family. Oh. Ooh, very nice. In-house. You gotta yes. love that. Nice. Gotta no interest love that. rate. Well, because, no interest rate. Yeah. And actually, I was going to do it through a, um, a bank, mm -hmm. but I was about to do it when COVID hit. Mm -hmm. And my mom was like, don't do that shit. Just, we're going to pay this nice and then uh and then you'll pay us back so i'm paying them back currently is gary Great. charging you a vig or no uh gary wanted to mom said no really gary's yeah. a businessman he's a businessman in the day i don't care how big that heart is cash talk <laughs> that's right <laughs> not bad someone's got to pay for the putting green you know uh, what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh you have you ever any? had a oh sorry no please. i was gonna say do you miss any of those payments um i probably have are they loose they're pretty loose but uh, I have yeah, pride about it, so I always feel or something? terrible. Gotcha. Yeah. I would have paid a couple and then just kind of... Uh, I mean, no. I I try and get it. As all soon right. as I get one big check, it's all going to Louise and Gary. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we're mm -hmm. also talking about like... We're not talking about like 20 grand. We're talking about like sure. nine. Sure. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. It's manageable. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> have you ever had a voicemail where you were like, hello, hey, I can't hear you? No, I never trick did that. voicemail. No, no, but I used to do the music. I would play Ooh. my favorite song. Evanescence. <laughs> <laughs> Call me back tonight. You think I won't put that on now? <laughs> Call me back tonight. <laughs> um. When wow. You, hmm. When the Palufos go out to dinner, uh huh. Do you guys ever order the same thing? Is there a place that you went to where like the lemon chicken was really good, and you all got the lemon chicken? Well, I don't know about that but we go to the same pizza place and order the same thing since i was two years old what do you get like that though we get the extra large number two which is um <laughs> it's sausage salami and mushrooms with garlic on top okay it's very good and uh one time i remember in high school my mom called and he was like hey congratulations this is your 500th order whoa and my in mom second was like, grade oh my god no no no. i think it was i was in high school oh i think you said i was in second grade no oh, sorry but... you've been going since second grade I yeah apologize. so i was like i was wow. like 500 pizzas by what do you second get grade. what's that what'd they give you Nothing. They a just heart told attack. us. That's a lot they of fucking sausage us. and salami. Just wanted to let you know. Yeah, just want to let you know you spent a lot of your money here. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, but sometimes hmm. we get a salad. 
Any injuries as a child? Yeah, I broke my wrist. Okay. Um, trying to rollerblade backwards. Okay. And my mom didn't want to take me to the hospital, so she said I had to wait three days. <laughs> it was definitely broken, and then she goes, "It better be broken." Yeah, <laughs> I don't think parents do that anymore. Why didn't she now? want to take you to the hospital? Because it's time. Damn. We <laughs> were the I, same way. I it was like, like if that. you couldn't make it through the night. Yeah. It was like, here, take Advil. Mm-hmm. See how you feel. If you don't mm-hmm. make it through the night or the morning, then yeah. we'll we'll reassess. But three I'm days with a broken wrist? I think it was two or three, yeah. And the fucking I, revenant? Jesus Christ. And then I broke my finger, too, and my mom just put my uh, old sister's old splint on it. and was like, here you go. Splints <sighs> back in the day. Yeah. Oh, we were poor. Yeah. We were poor. Splints. Teachers don't get paid anything. Sure. Splints mm-hmm. were all right. Yeah. Little tape. Oops, sorry. Oh, my goodness. Kids blowing up. It's the boss. <laughs> Do you eat ice? Do I eat ice? Yeah. Like chew, chew your on ice? It? Uh, sometimes, yeah. I'm not going to do it now because of the sound. But okay. It depends on how hot it is. Uh, have you ever used the chili cheese machine at a 7-Eleven? Chili cheese? I've used the cheese. Cheese, okay. But not the chili. Okay. You have a go-to fast food? Wendy's. Really? Love a Wendy's. Very Yes, like mm. they have the best chicken nuggets. And yeah. then their fries are pretty good, and then I get a frosty. I love a frosty. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I agree with you on that chicken nugget thing. They're very what what what's yours? McDonald's. Get the it's the inventor slime. of the chicken. It's slime. It's not even crispy on the outside. <laughs> She's talking crazy. Oh no no She's no! Got no good I'm points. Not. Thank you. You're nuts. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Growing up, did you keep the batteries in the fridge. No, what does okay. that do? It, so for dirt bags, think it prolongs them. No, no. Okay. No. I ever own a beanbag chair? No, but I did own a Papa's on. What the, the hell's that? Is that? <laughs> like a Papa John's? What is it? No, it's a Papa's on. It's they're from like um Pier One Imports. It was that round chair with a cushion. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about, about yeah. What's like wood. You see, like yeah. wicker almost. It's like bamboo. Yes, yeah, so you wow. sit in it. It's almost like a cocoony thing. I didn't know you were an African warlord. I am. <laughs> we actually just got one of those. Yo, really? It's yeah, nice. My wife, yeah. It's very comfortable. I it's not so much like in there. It, you don't like sit in it and it's more like on yeah. it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's will loungy. You, will yes. you eat food on the subway? Yes. You will? Mm-hmm. Give you me either. an example. Uh, a train. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I'll eat... When I was working my day job, I wouldn't have time, so I would get egg white bites from Starbucks, and I would sit on the train, and I would eat those. Those are fantastic. That's easy they're peasy. Very good. Yeah. Yes, they're Their very whole good. little omelet thing. Mm-hmm. They do is not too heavy. It's a good mm. situation. It's uh, so quick and easy. Barely any calories. Did you ever? Would you ever buy food in the subway? You ever stop at the churros lady or anything like that? I've always wanted to, but I've never had the guts. Okay. Mm-hmm. Churros are good. The churros are good? I wouldn't do the fruit. When they hand out yeah. the mango. The mango looks good, though. I know, but there's the, the hands that have been on that. Oh, it's very. True. It's very intimate to cut a mango. Okay. Churros. Even if they're wearing gloves? Are they? Yeah. You well, think? now they are. Now that you got to. Uh, what's your tattoo on your arm? Oh, this is for my sisters. They're pine needles. Um, because the my grandparents' cabin where we grew up, they had two big pine trees out the front deck that okay. we would sleep under. Aww. And so there's my older sister, me, and my younger sister. Oh, that's very it's sweet. Very, sweet. Yeah. very tight with your family. Yeah. Yeah, we're close. How often do you talk to Gary? Gary texts me all the time. Really? Of course he, he does. Has, Great dad. <laughs> he has uh, track my iPhone, and so I leave it on for him. And so whenever I'm on the road, he's like, what are you doing in Des Moines? Des Moines. Whoa. <laughs> Mind melding over really? here. Look at that. That was incredible. That was something else. Ah, okay. Gary, no, you have track. I'll have your children. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have, yeah. Man. He'll You're text. an open person. I would never want anybody to know where I am or what well, I'm doing at any moment. It makes him feel good. Like he gets, he has anxiety, and so he uh, he likes to know where his kids are. And so whenever he's feeling like lonely or th- starting to spiral, he'll just like message his kids and be Aww. like, "What's going on?" There you go. And Scary so he'll check, aces. and uh, I'll be either on the road or whatever, and be like, "What are you doing?" Um, I have a a uh, Instagram message. Like of all the times he's asked me, like, just being nosy. What you doing? Just being nosy. <laughs> just checking in. How you doing? Yeah. Aww. It's a good dad. He's a good dad. Were you a Crystal Light family growing up? No, but my aunt was. And so I've had it. <laughs> yeah. What was the beverage in the refrigerator at the Palufos? Coca-Cola and milk. Coca-Cola. You have milk with dinner. Milk with dinner. Nice. Mm-hmm. See? Look yes. at that. Oh, strong bones, baby. Coca-Cola. She also Cola. comes from gnome people, so <laughs> you're, not in, you're, not in, you're not in great fucking No company. iced tea or anything like that? No. Coke no. and milk, that's American, baby. Coke and milk. 
Uh, always Coke, not Pepsi? No. My mom would change her order if someone said, we have Pepsi products. Is that okay? She'd be like, no. Wow. I'll take water. Jeez. With extra lemons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Louise. Hmm. Yeah, Louise means it. Not screwing around. Mm-mm. She was the tough one, and my dad was the softy. Hmm. You ever walk up to a drive through uh, I tried to in college, yeah, but they wouldn't serve us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you ever ridden a mechanical bull? Yes. Have you or any member of your family mm-hmm. claimed to have seen an unidentified flying object? Uh, I'm pretty sure my co- that's up my cousin Jimmy's, Big Jim's alley. Big Jim. Really? Mm-hmm. Jimmy's seen some shit. Jimmy's seen some shit. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know the story? No. <laughs> no, but that just, sounds, about it. that just sounds. That just sounds like very a, big, Jim. Very big. If there Jim. was somebody, it's Big Jim. Yeah, Let's yeah, put it yeah. That way. I mm. would honestly, when you meet him, you'd be like, "Yeah, he's probably seen it and been like, no, no big deal.' Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen that. What's the sleeping situation at the house now? Uh, how many pillows do you have on the bed right now? I have, oh god, seven. Seven. How many to sleep with? Two. Both under your head. One under my head. One holding. Nice. Okay. And then one is for the sham that looks good. Gotcha. And then one is a throw pillow. Is there a fan on you? No. No T- fan. You leave the TV on when you go to sleep? No. Sometimes I do the Calm app. Okay. All right. Yeah, the little sleep stories. Sure. Those are nice. Okay. And now our cats, our little Benny sleeps with us. He get, comes under the co- covers and he cuddles. Snuggles. He's a snuggle. Hey, he's freezing. Snuggle. He's got no hair. He's yeah, got, he's got no do something. hair. Um, he's hmm. Is there anyone in your family you call by not their name? Like, uh, like an Aunt Tootie or like a... <laughs> Aunt and Jojo, Uncle Uncle Marbles. Mima, <laughs> Uncle Marbles. <laughs> um, well, maybe Big Jim, hmm. but what's his name? Theodore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say we're all very much okay. I can't okay. think of no wonky nicknames. No wonky nicknames. Have um, you uh, ever had your hair braided on a tropical vacation? I had my hair braided at camp. Mm. Yeah. You ever go on a cruise? Yes, a really? Disney cruise. As a family? As a family. I was 27. It was very sad. Whoa. Holy shit. Yeah. For the grandkids? or for, well, the... for the grandkids. I'll give you that. Yeah, we went to Alaska. Mm-hmm. That's fun. They go up to Alaska? Yeah, yeah. I saw a glacier, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, belly button ring? No, I always wanted one. I always wanted a belly button ring and a nose ring, but my mom wouldn't let me get anything pierced until I graduated from college. So I had 10 holes in my ears. Because that's the only thing she would let me do. So I had 10 piercings in my ears, and then I grew out of it. Thank God. It's such a Whoa. strange thing. Not till you graduate yeah. college. Yeah. Toe ring? Yes. On, na- on you now? No, 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 no. But I used to. Any anklets? I used to, yeah. But then I would have to take them off for, co- uh, for soccer. Okay. Same with the toe rings. Once, ooh, that was a cut. Not good. Did you ever yeah, wear any pins? It. Did I what? Pins. Where any pins? Gary's into pins. Gary. Gary and Louise pins. are into pins. How about that? <laughs> yeah, they go to Disneyland and they collect them, and Do they, they go put alone? them on their lanyards. Do they go alone? They go alone. Yes. Achi machi. <laughs> yeah. We got Disney adults, gang. <laughs> Red alert! Call the cops. <laughs> I'm, my whole perspective of Gary has changed. No, no get he it. He likes a good time. I, I, of course he does. He's got. He, listen, Gary, you're a hardworking guy. He deserves it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you take as many Disneyland trips as you fucking need, pal. I'll pay for one. If my parents told me they were going to Disneyland mm-hmm. by themselves, mm-hmm. I would say, "Who's after you?" <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? They usually bring like kids or whatever. But um, yeah, my they go they, they they'll get, go by themselves. Where do they get the kids? Uh, the grandkids. <laughs> my grandkids. You made it sound yeah. like there's red kids for the weekend. The thing oh. is, my mom loves it, and my dad loves my mom. Oh, you know, he's, yeah. he's, you're really playing the heartstrings. With I Karen. mean, he well, he they ne- he's never been with anyone else. Really? He got with my Sexually? mom when he was 19. Yeah. He tells you that? Yeah, he told me that. Really? We talk. We talk. <laughs> Gary, huh? You gotta play the field a little bit, pal. <laughs> no, he has. You're no a young interest. man. Get out there. <laughs> he has Catch no. like you. <laughs> no interest. Um. All right. We only. I mean, we gotta wrap it up here. But I mean, the whole lot of you is trash. <laughs> yes. Everybody you've ever came in contact with. It sounds like any surprise yeah. parties. Surprise parties. Yeah, you guys do surprise parties. My mom hates surprises. Okay. How about uh, trick birthday candles? The ones that keep relighting. Yeah, I think th- I've seen those at a family party okay. growing up. Well, we I had 13 cousins, and so we would all go to each other's family sure. our birthday parties, and uh, I'm sure those have been around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Peter had a few. Shout out to Pete. Shout out to Sweet Pete. Play any instruments as a kid? Piano. Mm-hmm. But I was, 
Classically, yeah. I was really very, very bad though. Can so you I read was music. Like, I yeah yeah, but I in um, <laughs> I think you're classy. <laughs> But I was like a senior in high school, still doing it, and the people in my were like in sixth grade. Yeah, because I never lapped. got better. Yeah. Like yeah. Kramer in his karate class. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, Janet Haddix, a nice piano <sighs> teacher, just never let me. She was like, "We'll do this one again." <laughs> I'm like, Next up right. is Mrs. Caitlin Palufo. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're driving the kids. Yeah. Out of <laughs> I mean, buddy, dead to rights, trash all the way through the dog park farm. You got got a great you got a great family. Your dad sounds awesome. You're close to your family. That's amazing. You know, we love you. You're a great kid. But my God. (laughs) Yeah. No, I knew coming on to this. I was like, oh, this is trash. I I am trash. Known people is crazy. But for the record, Gary is all class. This guy. (laughs) Gary Gary's can't right. be touched. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Caitlin Palufo, one of my favorites. You're one, one of, of our favorites. One of the best. Oh, you're one of the best. What do you got That's... cooking up? What do, what do you got? Uh, <laughs> yeah, plug away. Social plug pod away. When is this dates? coming out? What's happening? Uh, Next week. <laughs> next week? Okay. Yeah, real business real quick. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Gary taught you. I was well. like, I'll get it out today. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Hold on real quick. Uh, okay. Did you have braces as a kid? Yes. Because not to sound creepy, you got good teeth. Thank you. Yeah. I had braces. I had headgear, the whole thing. Headgear. Yeah. I knew it. Oh, yeah. My little sister, they had to break her jaw. <laughs> she had four sets of teeth, like a goddamn tiger shark. Yeah, Yikes. Bad. We didn't even get into Jessica. Now, had to break her jaw. Trash. Jesus <laughs> but in Christ. a beautiful way. I love her very much. Oh, she works my at Trader God. Joe's. She's killing it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So if you're I'm in the if you're if you're in the BA area, blood. check out Jessica at the Trader Joe's. <laughs> well, honestly, the date that I was going to say is I'm doing Alameda Comedy Club in California, and my entire family will be there. Yeah. Let's go, Gary. Yes. Listeners, go out. I need eyes on Gary. Please, yes. yes. <laughs> you're at California. Go see Caitlin. She's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the last weekend in April, April 29th and 30th. Awesome. awesome. It'll be out before that. Yeah, yeah. It'll oh, be great. Right yeah, that. come to that one. Let's sell it out. Get Mama a bonus. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, Caitlin is one of the funniest comedians out there. Everybody loves her. She's Killer. amazing. High energy. You fucking kill it. You're a worker. I don't know what else to say. Well, thank you. you. Oh my god. Yeah, guys, if they're I'm saying a... everything possible, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna... speechless. She got good teeth. <laughs> I do. I got good teeth, and I will masturbate to that later. Thank <laughs> you so much for saying that. Is that too much? Is that not... it's not that kind of podcast? <laughs> okay. It's not on Disney. I... <laughs> <laughs> We're not on a cruise <laughs> to Canada. Which yeah. is strange. <laughs> Kevin, what do you got Ala- for? Him? Do you think Alaska's in Canada? It's near Canada. All right. It's to the left. <laughs> it's to the left of Canada. Yeah, you just get a Canada, bang a left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bang a Louie. <laughs> hey, start talking weird. Make a left. <laughs> <laughs> Gang, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you rate, review, subscribe. Patreon. Come see us. We're on the road. We're all over the fucking place. Oh, yeah. Chicago. We added a late show. Chicago. That's going to fucking sell out. Um, everywhere. Phoenix, Arizona, Salt Lake City, Denver. Uh, Buffalo, Buffalo, Detroit, Detroit, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. Addy more cities. Come see us. Let's fucking party. Gang, we love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. Gary!